to be able to show you that how in an online food ordering system uh, from the mobile app itself, you will be able to order it and how you will be able to track the order, uh, control it by the order management form, uh, deliver this information to the kitchen. Kitchen will be able to um, make the food and the delivery agent will be able to deliver it. While this whole thing is happening, there will be a series of algorithms that we'll be using in terms of how the, um, how the forecasting is being done and how through the segmentation and customer lifecycle value, we have been able to predict whether the customer will churn or not. And on that basis, there will be a recommendation being done and recommendations will decide in terms of what type of coupons, the loyalty management part, we will be able to do it. And since the lo loyalty coupons will be shown on the mobile app, so it is outside the BDB platform. So there will be model as an API feature that is being done so that people understand that now they can use BDB platform to uh, use not only for data as an API, but for model as an API itself. So you can build your own applications, you can build your own models, and you can just ask anyone in your ecosystem to use those models and run it, and then see the analytics uh, in, in any of the applications, in any of the web portals that you have built. So all of this process will be able to show it through our uh, you know, dashboarding, our uh, self-service, our uh, data science lab, and pipeline feature, uh, you know, features. So I will just uh, give it to Mani and we'll stop the video. Mani. Yeah, thanks, Amin. Hello, everyone. So it's my pleasure to meet you all again with uh, yet another uh, most powerful and day-to-day -day life real-time use case on BDB platform. <clears throat> so here we're using our DS templates, which is, which we are using, which we have uh, got it developed for the, from the data science team for this webinar. So let me quickly go to the implementation architecture, what we have followed for this execution. <clears throat> so consider there are two orders. Orders are received, we are receiving from two, but two different uh, places. One is from the mobile app. Another is from the POS order producer, like it could be a POS system where the order is getting generated and the mobile, like from the customer can do this order, order from the mobile. From here, using our pipeline, using our AP ingestions, the data is getting ingested into the Kafka event. From here, the next process of the pipeline starts, how, how the orchestration of the data, how the data flow is happening, I'll be able to explain in detail. So if you see here, both this ingestion, like data from the mobile and the POS order is getting ingested into the Kafka event. And we are doing a preparation on top of that. And then we are enriching this data. So while I'm saying as enrichment, what are the things we are in enriching here is that analysis from the DS lab, we are enriching into analytical zone. So here I would take a reference of our previous webinar, what we have done, where our, uh, my colleague Amir has explained deep dive into the DS labs. He have explained in detail about how DS models can be created and deployed in the DS lab. Similarly, with the help of our data science team, I, we have got this customer segmentation, customer life cycle, lifetime value, forecasting and churn prediction models developed and templatized inside our uh, data, sci data science lab, which has been deployed and uh, used as a model for the pipeline, as well as model as an API for the third party applications. So I just wanted to make a note here. So whatever I'm, uh, let me go to the platform and show you what is there. So this is the data science lab. So you might be aware of this from the previous webinar. So let me open it. These are the models which is available inside our data science lab. And this thing will be available for our customer and partners. So they, they can utilize these models for their uh, implementation on their environment as well. This, these these uh, DS lab models are scheduled daily to run and store the data into the data store the data in analytical zone. So which we'll be using for the enriching the customer data which comes from the mobile order or from the POS orders. 
So in this pipeline, we are following four parallel orchestration of data. So I'll just take you through one by one. <clears throat> At first, immediately once the order has been received, we have to send this order to the kitchen to start doing its process. Kitchen, I would say here as a franchisee, uh, franchisee kitchen. So I have, with our platform, I have mocked the applications. Let me open the things again. Open it. So we have mocked those applications, like how a order order portal can be or order application can be, and this is the pipeline we are using here. So once I do this order, the order started to flow from this kitchen API ingestion to this order flow, and these are the flows we are having it here. So let me go here and see how many orders till now I have. So right now I am I have. I'm having only one order, which I have cleaned it for our webinar. So let me do an order from this particular uh, application, what I have developed. So let me do an order for uh, combo one and combo three. I'll just do an order food. So once I do the order food, there will be a order which comes to this particular uh, event. So what happens is we could see there is a second order which happened and the process started for the second order. So from here, the first is First is we have, we have to show the uh, show the data to the push the data to the kitchen dashboard where the kitchen can take start doing the order preparations and stuff. So let me go and open the kitchen dashboard as well. So I would like to take it side by side. So let me do an order now. Both the dashboards are loaded. Now you could see this the uh, landing page for a kitchen guy where uh, the, he's not having any orders right now. We can consider he's not having any orders right now. So let me place an order from this uh, food zone. Let me do an order. This time I'm selecting the combo four. I'll do this order food. And let me go to the pipeline whether this order has been processed or not. Yeah. So. The same thing, I'll come here. Here you could see there's a third order which I have placed has come here. And the same order what I have placed is being listing here also. These are the two uh, uh, food items I have selected. So the order is here now. So here, the once the order has been received for the franchisee, he can start saying that order is confirmed and he started to do the order processing. So once this is done, like, so in the same time, the, uh, maybe the franchisee wanted to know whether the person who ordered this is what's his status, current status for him, whether he's a frequent buyer in our platform or frequent buyer in our uh, application or, or my kitchen, or he's about to churn. So we'll be able to know these details. When I was saying initially, we were, when I was saying initially, I was saying that a model as an API has been used for this from the data science lab. Let me go to the PPT presentation. So from here, if the kitchen dashboard, we are calling this kitchen uh, model as an API to trigger the churn model from this kitchen dashboard and we'll get a result from it. Let me go to this. Let me click on this churn status. If you could see there's a button provided for the kitchen, they can click on this. By when I'm clicking on it, what happen, what's happening is that model is being triggered through an API. And the result of the model is being model is being shown here. From here, the, from here, the kitchen can know whether he is a frequent customer or he is about to churn. If he's a frequent customer, the kitchen can think that okay, we have to give some compliment a complimentary item to keep him uh, motivated. And if he's a churn customer, the kitchen can think that okay, I'll just give some more compliment items so that he can keep motivated and engaged in my uh, system. So the decisions can be taken based on the results which comes from the DS model in real time. So let me come back to this presentation. So this, this covers the first flow. Let me go for the second flow, second parallel flow we are having it here. So here comes the interesting part of uh, today's webinar. So the interesting part, as I say, this BDB pipeline is capable enough to give real time recommendation back to any kind of systems or any kind of applications and even to our dashboards. So here I say this, what, why I'm saying this, let me go to the next step where, uh, okay, this is a model as an API, what I was showing you. So 
you can have this understanding like how it would be used. I'll come back to this again. So let me go to the next. So once this enrichment is done, so we are, we are splitting it, our orders or uh, online orders or not. If it is online orders, we would be able to send a real-time recommendation back to the application through our uh, offer push mechanism, what we have in our pipeline. So here in real time, the DS lab recommendation model trends, whatever the data which is got, which is got enriched based on this DS lab is being considered here. And this pushes your information to the mobile dashboard. So if I, from here, the offer push goes to the mobile dashboard. Let me go to the pipeline and show you how it is happening. So here, this is the whatever the flow is to push the data, push the uh, recommendation back is like once I get this data prepared and I'm enriching with the results from the DS lab models and the data comes here. So here I'm selecting only the online orders should be passed for these recommendations. Here, the recommendation model runs, and we are sending back this real time access, to real time uh, feedbacks, or real time recommendations to the dashboards. Here, it's going to be a mock one what I have done. So, this is the same dashboard what I have ordered. So, you could see there is a bell button clinging here. So, we just click it to check it here. So, here you could see there is a orders which is being suggested by the recommendation pipeline. So the DS lab has recommended this and we were able to feed back to this applications itself. So if as a user, if I wanted to add this for my orders, I can add it. If I wanted to close it and move ahead, just I can close it and move ahead. So this covers the third flow. This covers the second flow, what I, what I was intended to, intended to show. Now we shall move to the next step is like uh, how from the kitchen dashboard, what are the kitchen dashboard we have? Once the order is ready to pick up, or once we have the new orders, how it will be passed to the how it will be passed to the delivery dashboards. Again, I'll go back to my documents. Let me open the delivery agent dashboard. I'll move this back. Okay, so let it get load. As a delivery agent, you will not have uh, any information here. So by base, basically, like once you're opening the app, you will not have any information, but I wanted to do an order here. So let me go say the ready to pick up. So once I click on ready to pick up, what will happen is I should be getting a data here in a real time. So what's happening is if uh, in our pipeline, I'll again go back to the pipeline. So in our pipeline, you could, uh, we can see this two flows from here. The ingestion from the kitchen dashboard is happening to the delivery dashboard, delivery dashboard, which could be a delivery application. The ingestion can be happened from any third party application. So and parallelly, we are writing this information to a collection. It's a Mongo collection to make sure that uh, we can do a descriptive analysis and which can be used for uh, used in our uh, uh, data science lab to do AML models to suggest the kitchens what kind of improvements they can do. So if I'm going back here, so this order confirmed and will be will be stored here. The same thing once I have this information in my delivery dashboard, I just do this order pickup on the way delivered. So all this information we are selecting here and uh, whatever the information I have got here as a, a recommendation that also we will be storing it in our database. This helps our DS model when we are retraining it, what kind of coupon or what kind of suggestion is being uh, uh, liked by the people. Like if, if, I, if something is suggested from our uh, model and which is being uh, not liked by the people that we will be able to write back to the system and we'll be able to know, okay, the suggestions are not good. We'll be able to train the model based on that. So this covers the second and second flow here. So first is going to be the kitchen push. The second is going to be the online push. The third is a running a loyalty management system, like uh, how the rules and everything can be run here. So let me go to that. So once we have this enriched data, as we know that the data is getting enriched based on multiple algorithms here. So the data is getting enriched on multiple algorithms. Once we have this enriched data and we have the current order placed by the customer, there is a loyalty calculator here in our pipeline where a person will be able to like uh, this particular root engine, or we can say it as a campaign rule uh, engine also. This 
tries to understand whether the customer who done is a eligibility for uh, eligible for doing a promotion so if he is eligible there will be a promotion email with a coupon code will be sent to this customer email account so this is the third flow we are having let me go back so here i have used my my mail id to uh, generate the coupon so this is the flow we have here so the loyalty rule engine will run and the email component has been used to send the data to the particular user with the coupon code so let me go back to my mail id and see yeah so here you could see there's a project at me from our uh, bdb platform there's a mail has come for the uh, i'll just open it so here you could see this eight minutes ago i have got it which is like what whatever the order i have done so i have got this offer and it says like 10 percentage off week so if i wanted to <clears throat> if i wanted to use this here so i'll be again going back to my uh, delivery dashboard i'll try to use here so before that let me show you the information what's there in this particular event what we have let me open it back review so if you could see this refresh i'll just make it more readable here so here you could see this coupon is not been applied for any of the orders let me do an order from uh, okay i just don't need this dashboards let me close it back let me do an order from this application again so let me do this order i'll put this apply so the coupon has been applied and i'll do an order for that by now we would be getting this information into this let me refresh this so here you could see this coupon whatever applied from the dashboards here it's a dashboard what we have used for mocking any third party application in the similar way whatever the data has been returned to the pipeline we'll be able to capture on real time so we'll be able to get this applied one so once we have this applied coupon okay this is the coupon we have used what kind of uh, offer has to be provided everything can be calculated and sent it across to him and the same flow happens for him so if he is a, a frequent customer or if he is a churning customer what kind of coupon has to be sent everything will be decided and we'll be able to send the uh, promotions and uh, the recommendations back to him the fourth flow here is so we have right now whatever the data we have got from this mobile order and the POS order we have processed and then we were uh, able to send the data on uh, real time to the kitchen push we were able to do a real time recommendation we were able to run a real time recommendation model and push back the data to the mobile order and we were able to do a loyalty calculator which is again a campaign uh, rule engine where and we were able to send a promotion email so whatever the information we have gathered here has to be stored into the database for the next an, uh, uh, descriptive analysis what we were uh, what we have to do to understand more about our business the current business and those information has to be fed as an input to the ds lab models so that those things will be considering this while training this in, uh, training the training themselves and then this information will be more uh, more useful when we are doing this enrichment and sending this only uh, recommendation and promotion activities let me go back i'll show you from where, which components we are writing it so this coupon uh, coupon emails what are the coupon information has sent from the pipeline we are writing to this particular component which is a coupon food coupon details and this stores the complete data enriched data of a customer along with this orders into this particular uh, mongo collection so i'll just come back here so based on the data what we have collected till now so the next step is to have different kind of descriptive and uh, analytical dashboards, which will be helpful for me to do a uh, decisions on my uh, promotions activities or a decision on my business. So let me have, uh, so for this use case, we have built two dashboards here. One is a sales overview, another one is a customer segmentation dashboard. So let me go to the customer segmentation dashboard from first, then we'll come back to the sales overview. I can go to the retail segmentation dashboard. <clears throat> Let it get open. So this retail segmentation dashboard gives the complete analytical information what I have got from my DS uh, lab, which runs, and uh, those informations get stored into the database for the reference. So this helps the business 
or the business users or the franchisee to take a decision what kind of customer are available in what kind of customer segmentation so first step is customer segmentation where we have this best valuable shoppers vendors and uh, uncertain customers churn first time and uh, frequent customers and we are showing how many total customers we are having from the past as well and the second thing is we are showing what kind of product spread for example i have clicked best i click on value so based on this uh, value what kind of product spread is across the customers so you can see the pizza is bought uh, pizza is the product which has bought uh, more by the customers from the valuable segment and how the customer pattern customer movement is there from valuable to shoppers valuable to spender so for example if i just hover on i'll be able to know like from valuable to shopper 72 people has come in from valuable there are 39 people has gone out so we'll be able to know this information and i can drill down this information to know who are the who are all the persons and what is their age what is the amount they have spent and why they are moving from valuable to shoppers and what is the product spread for that particular customer so this information helps us to and helps the business to understand okay what kind of offers what kind of uh, uh, promotions they have to give for the customers to uh, engage them more on this application so if you could see there is a bottom table i have clicked and opened it this helps this helps to give the information of complete franchisee and their revenue whether they are growing or whether they are not growing and uh, what kind of growth it is all those information will be able to get from here so let me go to the next step which is advanced analytics so in this advanced analytics we try to uh, uh, cover the forecasting of the uh, uh, forecasting of the food items what are the food items food items would be requiring for what kind of dates and we are able to say this information so just let me go to for pizza gluten free you could see this is the curve which uh, what kind of dip they might there may be a dip, on, dip on this month and we'll be able to know what kind of forecasted information forecasted items quite for that in that particular month and the bottom we are showing this market basket analysis the here it's nothing but we will be able to know the customer buying pattern and what kind of customer buys pepperoni pizza for example it's a pepperoni pizza he buys juices also so these kind of combinations or uh, combo offers can be built in and this can be suggested for the customers who uses this kind of who uh, often orders this kind of uh, combinations <coughs> sorry let me go back to the next tab so here is a feedback analysis tab so based on the feedbacks uh, from the customer like what are the surveys been done and the based on the customer feedback we were able to uh, show this uh, detailed informations which helps the franchisee to take uh, next promotion and campaign activities so this is a 360 degree information about a customer and the business and the models in, uh, we'll be able to get from this particular uh, dashboard let me go back to the retail my documents and open the sales overview dashboard so this dashboard is completely running on top of the data what we are receiving from this pipeline so based on the data which stored uh, this order uh, and uh, coupons which has been utilized so if you could see there is a how many orders happened on last 7 days what is the orders total delivered here what is the total order cancelled and what is the revenue we have got how many clients we have let i can go for last one month also i'll be able to know what is the order total orders are there how many clients are ordered in the last one month and here you could see the very much useful information of coupon success rate so out of 787 coupons we have sent 80% of coupon is more successful and the customers are using those coupons and buying the foods so we'll be able to get this information as well so here you could see this online pos order how what's the revenue we are getting from the online orders what is the revenue we are getting from the pos orders and what what's the number of orders here and what are the best selling items what are the location wise what's the revenue and orders and here the again this how the customer segmentation what we have seen in the previous dashboard how that's been uh, utilized here to understand what kind of segment people is using this what kind of uh, how much percentage of 
coupon here. So if you see a newbies who comes to this platform, we are providing more coupons to them and they are using 51% of it. And the same way we know that, that some persons are spenders and the system might be giving this coupons, but still they are not using it. So we'll be able to know like how much percentage of coupon they have utilized from this the system or the numbers we have sent. And uh, if you go a little down, we have provided analysis like how in a map uh, franchisee or uh, complete owner of this system will be able to know like where his franchises are, how many orders they have, and what kind of number of revenues they are getting it. All the information I'll be getting it here. And here I could see this a pie chart which gives the information about delivered and canceled orders I have done. And the last table, this table, it's like a very much useful or last but not least kind of information we are providing here. So where the coupon usage of each customer based on the uh, locations we are showing up here. So right now we are showing this coupon usage. Here you could see this 100 percentage of coupon usage is there. So he would have done 38 orders, and we have provided <clears throat> 38 coupons, and he have used this coupon 100 percentage in this. Now, if you could see these are the people not shunned. So based on the coupon what we have provided, they might have turned into shunned to uh, not shunned. So let me scroll down to understand any other anomalies here. Yeah. So here you could see this. There is a, a Customer name is Christopher. He has been using coupon 40 percentage, and there is a chances he might be churning from uh churning from my application. So that could be a decision taken for him, or that could be a <clears throat> separate gift items or something can be sent as a promotional activity to him. And if you still we would we have the other way also. The persons have they have not even used any coupons or they have not got any coupons still they are not churning from the system so this kind of information will be getting uh, from the ds models and the information and the same churn model has been ran on the run ran as a, ran as a model as an api in the third party application as well so here we have covered how the BDB govern dashboards are uh, working. So let me go back. So once we have covered this govern dashboards and uh, most of you has already aware that BDB is providing the self-service report for the customers as well. So you can just go here. Let me go to this order portal story, what we have. So this is a business story, what we have built on top of uh, the data, what we are receiving. And this is the information we are directly taking from the collections, what we are writing in the Mongo. And this information can be built and any customer can just create a new uh, views for him and he can drag and drop any kind of, let me drag and drop this order type and uh, let me drag and drop the total amount. So I'll just come to know what kind of, based on the online orders and POS orders, what's my revenue. So if I wanted to save it, I can save it. I guess I can go back. So this is the information which can be used for slice and dice purpose. And all of you are aware there's an NLP such as being provided by our business story where you can type your questions and you will be able to get this uh, analytics seamlessly across the uh, data what we have received. So this shows how in real time, the re real time recommendation, promotion and the processing of data can happen seamlessly across the platform using data pipeline, data science lab, the models from the data science lab and how it can be done for the dashboards and any kind of real time use case you have and uh, it can be built up, built upon on this platform and any kind of analytical insights can be brought using our uh, dashboards as well as the self-service reports let me come back to the slides so i just cover the slides very quickly so the, all the information i have shared about this uh, data science models it's here so here i have put a note that these models will be available for the partners and customers of bdb where they want to implement on their environment they can in implement and uh, do the <clears throat> use case on their in environment as well this is the pipeline what what we have shown and uh, this is the order mobile application, what we have mocked up, how the order page is there, how the order is placed, how the real-time recommendation has come up. Next is the kitchen dashboard, like this initial view, how the orders can be confirmed and processed. 
and here the ingestion of the kitchen and delivery informations and the delivery partner how for him it will be initial view how we can do this pickup and stuff so this is the retail segmentation uh, dashboards what i have shown to understand the <clears throat> 360 degree information of a customer and the sales overview dashboard just gives me the idea of the complete uh, sales and revenue what happened on uh, my my uh, data what's been as a descriptive information so this is a self service report what we have so again so as i was saying in the first webinar the context of this webinar is not to show how an order management portal is uh, can be built on top of the BDB. Instead, we wanted to show how a real-time integration in BDB models is possible, how combination of DS Lab and Pipeline can do any real-time predictive models, predictive model influencing and push back, push back that information to the customer app or uh, any third party application, how the model as an API can be integrated. So these are the information we wanted to show. And here, what we have accomplished here is like how the businesses can be provided with the analyticals, analytical information on their data, how their data can be monetized, how I hyper automation is possible in BDB data platform, how seamlessly you'll be able to communicate from one dashboard to other dashboard, and how the same information can be stored to do the further analytics. And here you could see there are three kinds of visualization we have done. One is for the mobile, another is for a tablet, another is for a desktop view. And uh, I would say that along with the government dashboard, BDB provides the self-service analysis where the end user can do their analysis on top of their data. So here I would like to uh, conclude the webinar. And uh, thanks everyone.